Welcome Leos, I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be for the month of August. And let's see what's coming towards you in love. Okay, these are love readings. Alright, keep in mind guys, this reading is general. So it may or may not resonate with you. However, if it happens to resonate all the better, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Okay, so Leos, it looks like you have been calling in your soulmate. You're staying optimistic when it comes to love. But there is some red flags, okay? Maybe you've been waiting on this person because we got worth waiting for. You're calling this person in. You've been praying, been doing your affirmations. And you're staying optimistic. However... Something is alerting you to kind of focus on yourself, okay? When it comes to self-respect, um, self-love, self-care, something may be telling you to pull back and focus on yourself, okay? Maybe it's something about your finances and career. It could be something in regards to your finances, okay? Somebody from the past may want to come back around and reconcile with you. Maybe you're trying to figure out if this person is here for the money or is this true love? I'm getting definitely there is somebody who is very codependent upon you. This person lies to you, tells you tells you things and is wearing a mask, okay? Um, really, the situation could be really unrequited, unbalanced, you know? There's more that you need to get to know about this person, okay? Could be a person from the past. We got past life relationship and separation here. I'm seeing a lot of flirting going on, okay? Maybe you're flirting with someone. It's cute little things going on. And you could feel like this person could be the one for you. You know what it is exactly that you deserve. Because we got you deserve love here. And you're going after that. I feel like you got a past person that's lingering around. And then for some of you, there's new love coming in. Okay? Trust. There's an issue in regards to trust. Can you trust this person? Very soon. So very soon. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. What was that? What was that? All right, I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. So it looks like uh, very soon there is going to be a need to uh, clearly decide what it is that you want to do, which direction you want to take, whether or not if you want to free yourself from a connection or if you want to heal a connection. This could definitely be with the past person. This person just, you know, is just too codependent and they're, they're a liar, okay? They hide things. They wear a mask. But you got a chemistry, some type of connection with this person. You may feel like this person is putting in effort to express themselves more and have, you know, being more open to you. But there's just something about this person that, you know, you know this person's flaws. You've seen this person's flaws. All right, so let's pull the tarot. Let's see what messages we get. Give me a message for the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, Jupiter. All right, wherever you you have Leo, if you have Leo in your chart, you can utilize this video. Okay, so give me a message for Leos for August, please. What does Leos need to know for August? What's coming ahead for the month of August for Leo? All right, so at the bottom we got the Five of Wands. So there's some competition. There could be some um, some disagreements, some quarrels going on. Someone could be bringing you. Uh, someone could be bringing you 
uh, a lot of tea. There could be a lot of gossiping going on, a lot of tea going on with this Knight of Cups. That's uh, news being brought in. Yeah, see, someone's telling the truth. Some type of truth is getting ready to be brought out. And the Tower and the Ace of Swords, yeah. Some type of truth is getting ready to come out. Could be that someone could possibly be pregnant. Um, that could definitely be what's going on. Someone could not have told someone that they were living with someone or that they were married. Okay, so let's see what's going on. I feel like you're trying to avoid uh, some type of drama. I feel like you're trying to stay out of the way. But something is stressful. Why is the nine of swords here? Mm, the hermit. This is constantly on your mind. There's something that's like you can't stop thinking about this. I'm hearing starting over. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the world. Like starting over. Okay. Knight of Wands. Someone's returning. Okay. Tell me more about this hermit. You could be dealing with the Virgo. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, someone's seeing how I feel like I'm getting, I'm hearing now you see how it feels. We got the devil here. It could be a Capricorn, but something here, like I said, someone's codependent, someone's extremely toxic. Why is the five of wands here? I'm getting some competition. Yeah, the queen of wands, this is you guys' energy. I'm getting like there's some competition or some type of battle or some type of confusion going on. Alright, someone gets kicked out or thrown. I'm getting I'm hearing like thrown to the wolves. Like y'all cut somebody off. You feel like it's too much drama um associated or affiliated with this situation. Tell me one more about the seven of wands. The magician, yeah. Someone could also be trying to prove a point as well, too. I'm getting like somebody trying to prove a point. Why is the magician here? I'm getting somebody's mad at you. Or you could be upset with someone because someone's trying to prove a point. The point is invalid. Like you're looking at it like... The point is invalid. Why is the justice card here? Could be a Libra. And the four of wands. There's a marriage here. Someone is legally married. Yeah, for sure. There could be a marriage here. That could be on the rocks. Or there's just too many people that has a say-so. Um, in this situation, but I'm definitely looking at a marriage here. This isn't going to be for, this is going to be for a select few. Okay, what I'm seeing too as well, somebody could be forcing somebody, push somebody away to make sure that this chapter is closed. And it looks like there's a marriage here. Somebody's pushing somebody, somebody's trying to make sure that a chapter is closed. Yeah, somebody's trying to make sure that this chapter is closed and so um, there could be some forward movement elsewhere. 
Somebody's trying to see if somebody's going to regret something. We got the Queen of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be involved, and the Two of Pentacles. So somebody see, somebody's fine to see if somebody's going to regret a decision. All right, so why is the Ten of Cups here? There's a temporary relationship here. In the past, it looks like this connection that either you could have been in or someone around you. There's just a back and forth, like either a sexual connection or it was just temporary or on and off. It's on again. One minute is up. Next minute is down. It's all over the place. Like it's just a um, temporary connection here in the past. Okay. It looks like, okay. It looks like you wanted to put a stop to the back and forth. Okay. You wanted to put a stop to the back and forth. So that's why there is conflict here. Okay. So there must have been a decision that was made. Yeah, I keep seeing somebody's regretting a decision on leaving, on walking away. Somebody didn't have the confidence to walk away. This I don't feel like this was an easy decision, but something was just temporary, okay? Moving forward, we got the high priestess, okay? So tell me more about the high priestess here. Yeah, it looks like moving forward, your intuition is telling you that either you have to choose or someone that you're dealing with has to choose. So I'm getting that a decision is getting ready to be made very soon. Somebody's going to be disappointed. Okay, somebody's disappointed because someone else feels like they won a prize, okay, which is a male or a female. We got the emperor, so it could be definitely be a male. This person could be older, okay? This person could be Aries energy, but very dominant, um, very like alpha energy. Okay, somebody is giving somebody, maybe you've been giving this person some time to um, speak up. Okay, tell me more. This uh, moving ahead as well too. Two of Pentacles and the High Priestess could also be as well someone keeping something a secret. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, see, somebody feels like they need to hurry up and make a decision. Okay, some somebody is making a really quick, hasty decision. Okay, the thing about this decision that's a bother to me is that the decision is being made out of haste that the decision is being made out of irrational um behavior what's the page of pentacles there Okay, lots of communication coming in. Lots of communication coming in. I'm getting that some type of truth is getting ready to be revealed, possibly about a Capricorn or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But somebody here feels too attached or somebody feels um, attached, really attached. This could be you. You could be extremely attached to this person. You could be extremely attached to this person. Or this person could be really attached to you. Somebody feels... Somebody feels... I'm getting like... Somebody feels like a decision needs to be made. 
definitely moving forward. But the decision, somebody is disappointed, okay? Somebody doesn't see this coming. Um, and it's all to win over a man or a female, okay? So this looks like there's a there's a, a fight or disagreement over a lover. Now this jumped. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, you may have gave, given this person a lot of chances. So your guard is already up. Like you've given this person multiple chances. Um, you've given this person a, a million chances already. To speak up, there definitely could be a water sign involved. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone, you're trying to see if this person is going to go back to someone from their past. We got the Sun card here, the Six of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You'll be surprised. Um, you know what's happen, what's going to happen next. I feel like you just don't know what's going to happen next. So your guard is up. Somebody has gave, gave somebody a million chances for sure. The devil. Okay, so there's definitely like a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Capricorn that's involved that you are just waiting for this person to cut somebody off or, you know, you're waiting for something to end. You're waiting for something to be over with and done. This person here could be married for sure. Could be dealing with the Taurus. But I'm getting someone, this, this person could be a married man or a married female. Or this person has been in a, a long-term relationship for a really long time. Okay, and I'm getting like this person is either telling the truth. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, like this person wants to give this a shot with you, but there's definitely some type of secret here that this person needs to get out or express or, you know, relay a message to another party. This person doesn't want to tell. This person doesn't want everybody in their business, though. They don't want the truth to come out about their past. They don't see um, they they it may have had a lot of options that they had to cut off or they feel like they're going to cut off. Um, this person isn't too happy about, you know, having to come clean about a situation or what they have going on with you. I'm getting that there is some type of messy ass, petty get back relationship here. Um, <laughs> It's a lot going on here. But this person here is willing to give something a shot. This person is willing to give, give uh, this connection a shot. Yeah, this person is very hopeful. They do want to give this a shot and see where things go with you. But there is something... Um, there is something more that you want from this person. You want this person to offer more. You want this person to be more caring, more giving, more open. Okay, because maybe you feel like this person isn't offering you much. Um, maybe you feel like this person could be breadcrumbing you. Or you feel like, you know, you deserve more than this person has been bringing to the table. I feel like this person could be going through some type of... Um, this person could just be going through something like trying to better themselves, trying to grow. Um, and this person could be like at a survival point in their life. Like they're trying to come out of something that was heavy on them. I feel like you're loving this person through all of that with the lovers here. Yeah, you, you... <laughs> You love this person. We got the lovers and the king of cups. Yeah. You you are real deal in love with this person.
Monster Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah. Could be dealing with the Capricorn or a Taurus. But there's something here about the past, okay? Someone's bringing up the past and you feel like, you know, that should have been over with, okay? Why is the Six of Swords here? Yeah, somebody's stuck in the past, okay? Somebody's still is stuck in the past. Somebody has not fully let go of something in the past. Um, I feel like you're watching this person, okay? You're keeping an eye on this because there's just something you may feel like this person is holding back. You may feel like this person isn't being honest. I feel like you're waiting, waiting. I'm, I'm getting waiting for a decision to be made, okay? Maybe you're waiting to see if this person is going to lie, cheat, be sneaky. But, you know, this person, it looks like either they've already told the truth, they already, you know, cleared the air, or they're getting ready to clear the air. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay, so let's get some advice from the angels. And let's see what the angels have to say. Get some advice. What message do you have for Leo? Give me advice for Leo's, please. Meditation brings answers. Reconsider. In the near future. Peaceful resolution. Within the next few months, something's not the right time. Something's not the right time to do something. Okay, and success. Okay, see, so yeah, this is something about um, reconsidering the timing on this situation. Now, we got recovery and helpful people. Okay, so somebody could die. Recovery and helpful people. I'm getting like someone could have some type of addiction. Someone could have some type of... Um, Something that they're recovering from and someone has some type of something going on with them that they need support. Like they, I'm getting like someone could be really needy at this point in time. Okay. Spirit wants you to meditate and um, get answers from them. Okay. To come up with a peaceful resolution in this situation because there's something that needs to be reconsidered. Now, maybe this situation or you reconsidering this, it looks like in the near future, within the next few months, this um, situation could turn out to be successful. But there is definitely something that needs to be reconsidered. Okay, let's... Why is re reconsider here? King of Swords. Okay, so definitely could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius. But Spirit is saying, look, some some of you may need to go in hermit mode, okay? Because there's a situation that is very stressful, okay? And somebody, I, I just feel like there's some someone married involved. In this particular story, there's a married man or a married woman here. All right, so tell me more about this King of Swords. There's some truth or some clarity um, as well, the King of Swords is very serious business. Like this person gets down to the root of everything. This person is is the uh, all seeing truth. Okay, they're going after the facts. Tell me more about reconsider. I feel like there's more details that you need to find out. There's some tr more truth. Yeah, Two of Wands. That's a decision.
I'm hearing like there is some type of truth, okay? Something that you may think could be over with, okay? Something that you think is over with may not really be over with. Someone could be playing some type of mind game, okay? Definitely, I keep getting Queen of Cups. There could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a, a Capricorn involved. Um, Ten of Wands, okay? This situation could be a, a burden. There's something that needs to be let go of. And I see you being very hopeful for a situation, but there's some truth. There's more information that I feel like you need to get about this person in this situation. Yeah. See, I feel like you're hopeful that this person will change. This person may be telling you that, they, that they're going to change. Somebody I'm seeing as well too. Somebody does somebody doesn't want to be alone. Somebody isn't taking accountability as well. Somebody's saying it's not my fault. This person is saying, hey, I just told you what I wanted. But this person said that knowing that this was going to make this person leave. Um, I feel like you could be hoping that a situation is going to turn around or a person is going to change. You got the strength card here. Hoping that this person is going to change for you. But this is going to be a super duper stressful Nine of Swords and the Knight of Swords. It's going to be a lot of back and forth. A lot. It's going to be a headache. That's why Spirit is saying reconsider. Now, in the near future, you may have a new love interest come in. There's that Queen of Cups again and the Two of Cups. Now, in the near future, it looks like there is, um, yeah, see, somebody is still married. That's what I'm getting. Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Okay, Four of Pentacles and Four of Wands. Somebody is still living with someone or somebody is dealing with someone that they've been dealing with for a long time. They're still in that connection or they're holding on to that connection. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you'll be dis really disappointed if this person walks out or decides to leave. Okay. I feel like you've put in a lot into this and you may feel like you're getting a run around. Now, within the next few months, let's see what we got here. I see a lot of spying going on. Could be with the Gemini. I'm seeing a lot of drama going on. Five of Wands and the Five of Swords. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of drama going on. Okay, a lot of spying, a lot of gossiping, a lot of he say, she say. A lot of he say, she say. Justice in reverse came out. None of my cards are reverse with success. I'm not sure if this... This this is a real karmic type of situation. Tell me more. The tower. The tower and the justice in reverse.
Uh, especially with that justice coming out in reverse like that. I just don't see this situation like being like you getting any justice in a situation. There's a, a wrongful, like somebody's feeling like justice wasn't served. And being surprised, you know, like something falls apart or something happens out of the blue. Just be careful in this situation. Be careful in this situation. But I feel like there's something, you already know this about this person. You already know that, you already know this person's flaws and their downfalls. And I feel like this isn't nothing new. It's about how you're deciding to handle it. Okay, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later, right? Until next time, ciao for now.